Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Netafim disc filter. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to attach a pressure gauge, one on the upstream side and one on the downstream side. So you will know exactly when it's time to change the filter. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and this is Sprinkler TV. So today we're actually gonna hop in my truck and head down the street to the hardware store because we're gonna need an extra part to go with the pressure gauge before we're able to put it on the filter. So let's start right here with the filter, okay? So what we're looking at is you see the arrow, this is the direction of flow. Water flows in this direction. So what you're able to do is test the pressure both on the upstream side and the downstream side of the filter assembly. And you can do that one of two ways. You can do it with this needle gauge, okay? And all you're going to do is stick the pressure gauge in this needle hole like this, and you can take a pressure reading. So if you have a Netafim filter, you, you can purchase a pressure gauge like this, and at any time you can walk up to the filter and you can take two pressure readings. One here on the upstream side, and one here on the downstream side. And if you have a pressure differential of let's say about 10 PSI, then you know it is going to be time to remove the discs and clean them out, all right? So that's the best way to know if you need to clean your filter is to know the pressure. Pressure coming in, pressure going out, okay? And if this is mounted, let's say, in a greenhouse or, or even outdoors, and you want to be able to know what the differential is at any time, permanently mounted, you can take a pressure gauge and you can permanently install it on top of the filter. So these caps will come off and be careful when you remove them. There's a little rubber gasket in here, okay? And this is quarter inch male threads. And you'll see that on the pressure gauge, I also have quarter inch male threads. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in my truck, go down to Ace Hardware and find a quarter inch by quarter inch coupler. And these couplers are not, typically not something that most distributors and suppliers stock. So if you were to buy the Netafin filter and you buy a pressure gauge, you might need to source a quarter inch coupling locally. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna hop in my truck, we're gonna head to Ace Hardware. So come along with me for the ride. Welcome to my Toyota Tundra. We're headed to Ace Hardware. I hope we can find the one quarter inch by one quarter inch female coupler. Chances are that it's going to be a brass fitting. Typically PVC plastic type fittings stop at about one half inch. I'm sure you could find a quarter inch plastic fitting online, but typically at your local hardware store, Ace Hardware, bigger box store, you're gonna find a brass quarter inch by quarter inch female coupler. So let's, let's stop at Ace Hardware and see if we can find this. back outside now and you can see that it is a perfect fit. When I get back to the office, I'll remove the sticker and show you under the close-up camera exactly how I put this on, but the brass one quarter inch by one quarter inch female coupler that I picked up at Ace Hardware is a perfect fit. Sweet, now that we're back and I'm at my desk, I have all the parts here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it together for you. So here is a close-up of the quarter inch by quarter inch female brass coupling. And we're just gonna go ahead and mount it right on the top of the filter. So let me get this into focus and then we will screw on coupler number one. Then we're gonna screw on coupler number two. And then we're gonna take our first pressure gauge on the upstream side and we're gonna screw it on. And I'm just doing this tight. Or, sorry, I'm doing this loose. If you're in the field, you would crank these down pretty tight, okay? So there is number one, pressure gauge on the upstream side. Then we're going to mount number two, pressure gauge on the downstream side. And in this example, I had 30 PSI pressure regulators in our warehouse. Depending on the pressure you're running, you might need uh, to repressure at a greater value, all right? So there we have it. 
And on the upstream side, again, you might be looking for 10 PSI more than the downstream side. And if you do see that kind of pressure differential, then you will know that there is debris in your filter, okay? And again, here's a close up of the disc filter. You will know that there's debris in here and all you have to do is unscrew the cap, take this, shake it off in a bucket of water, use a soft bristle brush if you need to, to clean off the discs and then install it again. And that's it, all right? So if you have permanently mounted Netafim disc filters, this is a great solution for having a easily accessible pressure reading. Hope that helps and if you have any comments, drop it down below, feedback, suggestions, ideas, love to hear it. Until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling, we'll talk to you then.